Oh man, this is a big day for at home with Linos. <laughs> Not only are we getting lobster from Joe Batista, hey Joe, but it's time to unveil the Joe Cam. It, it's awesome. I, well, it's, I've been, it's, here, look, here it is. There it is. That's that's the Joe Cam. It moves no, and everything. I'm ugly. Do the food. Yeah. Okay. See, look at that. That's what the Joe huh? Cam will bring us. Huh? And what is this food dish here today that we're looking at? Well, first I want to I want to kind of back up a little bit. My um, my daughter's graduating from from high school this year. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. And uh, so I can relate to people that are having gra all these graduation parties and you right. know, family, yeah. friends, all that stuff. So I guess the past couple of weeks I've been trying to give some simple dishes that would um, be stand up used. well at the parties. Sure, sure, and, and doesn't you know it lets people enjoy each other, uh, their company, and and uh, you know kind of relax and and have a good time. So. Even though this is an, uh, an inexpensive um, dish to to make, it's definitely very special for a special occasion and and something that that tastes really good. Um, I um, I use uh, um, well, th th and there's various ways of making this. You can go with uh, shellfish and and octopus and you know mm -hmm. all kinds of uh, um, other things that I don't really care for. In fact. Um, one of the guys that I bought this stuff from, Pasquale Caputo in Chicago. So what? Pasquale Caputo. He's an old Italian guy. Uh, really? This guy. Okay. This guy has. A, Can has, hardly tell. Has a, he's got a fish market, and, he, and in his fish market, he's got a washing machine that's filled with with uh, I don't know stones about this big, and he and he puts his octopus in there, and runs the the washing machine without water or anything, to tenderize the octopus. <laughs> okay. So, there you go. Well, so is that a suggestion? You're suggesting all people to, you know, to, if you want to tenderize your octopus, octopus just throw some rocks in the washing, washing machine. machine. Yeah. So there you go. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just since I don't like that stuff. Octopus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I used here was. Just hope the ink doesn't come out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, clean all that before. Yeah. <laughs> um, but in in this particular dish that we've got in front of us, we've got uh, shrimp, we've got Alaskan king crab tail, and we've got lobster tail. Oh. And and um, what I did was well, you know. Everybody should know that most or all crab is cooked ahead of time, and that's usually to preserve the uh, the meat from uh, from spoiling or preserve the meat before they freeze it. In this case, oh, okay. So um, you know when you when you what I what I did was I I did two pounds of shrimp, five pounds of crab legs. Um, uh, just one lobster tail, uh, a few cloves of garlic, some oil, salt and pepper to taste, and I mixed it. I cut it all up and mixed it all together. But one of the important things to remember when you're doing this dish is, is the crab um, legs will be really full of water. So uh, what I do is, uh, and, and people overcook crab legs all the time because and they really, don't think they're cooked. They before. don't think they're cooked, and they and they they think they gotta boil them. They think they gotta you know. But what I do is I usually eat them cold, but but uh, uh, even if you were to eat them warm, a light steaming you know, or poaching would be the way to, to do this. But since I like them cold and since I like to make this, what I do is I, I buy the split and open crab crab uh, claws or and um, legs and I pull the meat out and I squeeze every bit of water out of them so that we don't get any extra salt or... or squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, And you can see that this is fairly dry. I don't have a lot of oil. I don't have a lot of anything um, uh, in there to detract from the natural flavor of the shrimp, the um, um, crab and the lobster. So, I mean, this is very genuine, very beautiful, um, uh, very delicate tasting dish. And I mean, it's something that, that people go crazy over. And we'll sample it next. You can get the recipe and all the ingredients at wifr.com slash recipes, or better yet, stop by Lino's and uh, visit Joe and the gang there. It's, uh, I'm gonna, Fruit Del Mar? Mm -hmm. fruit, of, fruit of the Sea. Fruit of the Sea, we'll be right back.